Hello everyone and welcome back to Beverly Stunning Creations. In this DIY, I'll show you how I created these gorgeous fairy tea light holders using mostly Dollar Tree products. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I would like to invite you to have a look around. And if you like what you see, then please subscribe. I would truly love to have you join my YouTube family. Now on to the DIY. First thing you want to do is take some of these tower blocks from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use these to build a foundation for our tea light holder. I'm going to use this glue called Fix All Glue from Dollar Tree to glue two sets of four blocks together and two sets of three blocks together. If you decide to do this DIY, you do not have to do the same design that I'm using. You can just glue the blocks straight across together. I put some tape across the blocks to hold them close together while the glue set up. After the glue set up, I took all four pieces outside and spray painted them all silver. Okay, so while the paint is drying on the blocks, I'm going to go ahead and start decorating my Dollar Tree mirrors. But first, I'm going to remove the feet and the labels from the mirrors. Now these mirrors are not the old Dollar Tree mirrors with the bevel edges. These are the newer ones. And I prefer these for this project because the edges on these mirrors are dull and smooth and not sharp like the previous ones. So that makes them safer to use. Now if you can't find these, you can always wrap the edge of your other mirrors with some type of bling wrap. Next, I'm going to trace both of my mirrors onto this silver platter from Dollar Tree. And once I do that, I'll cut both pieces out. So they'll have the appearance of being double-sided mirrors. I use the Dollar Tree Fix All to glue the pieces together. I still need to cut this more to make it even out, so I'll let this dry and come back and do that later. After the glue set up, I trimmed off the excess plastic with a utility knife. I removed the fingerprints from both sides of my mirror. So now I'm going to decorate the plastic side. And I'm going to use some of these rhinestones from Dollar Tree. Now these are the ones with adhesive on the back. So you just peel them off and stick them on. Now you want to repeat that on the second mirror as well. I didn't have enough of the Dollar Tree rhinestones to decorate the outside of my mirrors, so I used the gem sheet from Dollar General instead. These come with an adhesive backing also, so I just cut a strip off, removed the plastic, and then glued it down to my mirror. I only did this to what's going to be the front of my mirror, but you can decorate the back if you want to. Alright, so I'm going to decorate our tea light holder with this wooden fairy that I found at Hobby Lobby. But first, I'm going to spray paint her silver on both sides because you will see the back of her reflecting off the mirror. The paint on my blocks are dry and I've already started gluing them together. And I'm still trying to keep the same pattern that I created. Remember, you don't have to duplicate this pattern. You can just glue them evenly straight across to each other. It's a whole lot easier. Now I'll put this aside to dry for a few hours. Now the paint is dry on the fairy. I'm going to do the step that you've seen me do a million times. I'm going to brush on some Mod Podge, sprinkle her with glitter, let that dry, do another coat of Mod Podge and glitter, and then seal it with some hairspray. 
when you're brushing on the Mod Podge, make sure that it looks really smooth. Now it's time to put everything together. I'm going to glue these tower blocks on the inside of my tea light holder and that'll be the side with the plastic mirror finish. So we're going to actually glue the sides with the four blocks to the mirror finish. I made sure to add glue to each individual block on that side and then placed it in the center of the mirror. Press it down to make sure that it'll stay in place. Once that sets up for about an hour, I'll come back and then glue the other side on. Okay, so the glue set up for about an hour. So now I'm going to add glue on the opposite side. Then I held the tea light in the upright position in order to correctly place my second mirror. After I put the other mirror in place, I flipped it back on its side put some weight on top, and then use my ruler to make sure that all sides were even. I then let it dry for about three hours. So now that my tea light is dry, it's time to glam it up by adding some of these mirror towels. To save on time, I went ahead and measured the towels ahead of time. And now I'm using some of the Dollar Tree Fix-All to permanently glue these on. I also glued mirror tiles on the top of the blocks and I'll be doing the other side as well. Moving right along, now it's time for me to glue my fairy onto my mirror. And I'm only doing one side. You can do both sides if you want to. I actually have two of these tea light holders. And I'm making sure that both of my fairies face each other. Okay, so I'm really happy with the placement of my fairy. And if you notice, her hand is kind of extended upward. So I decided to put a rhinestone above it to make it appear like it was holding an orb or something. Just to give it a little bit more interest. Alright guys, so we're almost done. So now I need to create a container to put the tea light in. And I saw these salt and pepper shakers at Dollar Tree and decided I'd give them a try. I put the container down inside the blocks to see how much I needed to cut off. And as you can see, it's hanging at the bottom. So I took my heating tool and cut part of the bottom off. Now if you don't have one of these tools, you can use like an old butter knife heat it up on the stove, and then just cut it. After I cut it, I put the tea light holder in place to make sure that I didn't have to remove any more of the plastic from the bottom. I then took the piece that I cut off and inserted it backwards so that my tea light holder would have a bottom to it. Now when I inserted it, you'll see that I still have a little bit of plastic at the bottom. So I'm going to use my heat tool again to remove that. And this will also bond both pieces together. I also use the heat tool to smooth out the bottom of my tea light holder. Alright, so I checked it with an LED light and I'm really happy with that but I'm not entirely happy with the look of the tea light holder. So I'm going to add some bling right around the rim of it where the grooves are. So I'm going to use some of the bling that I picked up from Dollar General and I'm going to use two rolls of it. I put the 
bling on I can still see some of the white trim so I just used some of this rhinestone chain that I had on hand to fix that problem now if you decide to do this DIY you can change up anything that you want you don't have to use a fairy you don't have to use the same bling you don't even have to use the same color you can change it up however you like bottom line when you make it it's your DIY do it the way that makes you happy all right with that said this is my completed tea light holder and I truly love it for safety I won't be using a regular tea light that you burn I'll only use LED lights in my tea light holder and if you recreate this I suggest that you do the same okay guys this concludes my DIY I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on Thursday.